Hi, my name is Jussi. I wanted to take you through DoveTools, which is a set of tools that I've put together to make my workflow and hopefully yours as well a little bit easier and more streamlined um, in, in Dovetail. So where you can find the set of tools is you go to bit.ly slash DoveTools. That'll take you to the GitHub project, which is um, here. It's got the instructions uh, right there. And the main, main file really is the um, the notebook itself, which is written in Python. Um, easiest way to use it, to be honest, is just to go through this link here or, or through the blog post um, and just go into um, Google Colab, which is where you can run it directly. Um, I'll take you through the, the notebook now. So um, again, this is what it looks like. Um, this is a very typical kind of um, notebook in Colab. Um, basically, what it consists of is a, a set of cells. So you've got you know instruction stuff, um, which is this this cell here, and then you've got a lot of code. Um, I'll, I'll show you the probably the, the most interesting feature first, which is um, getting uh, abbreviated highlights into Miro from um, from Dovetail. But before I do that, I'll I'll just take you through some of the workflow in in Dovetail itself first. So. This is what my project looks like here. I've, I've basically used an example. This is uh, from Steve Krug, who has kindly given me permission to use this um, for this open source project. So it's his demo usability test from about 10 years ago. Um, still very valid and, and shows you the main parts of um, a qualitative interview. So what I've done here is I basically uploaded the, the video from that session and I have tagged it um, lightly, if you like. Um, so you can see, you know, this is what Dovetail looks like. You know, you probably are familiar with it already. And then I've done, um, gone through and added a lot of tagging. Um, the key thing probably here to um, uh, point out is that um, what I find very, very useful in Dovetail, especially on larger projects, is um, when you go through the tagging, uh, adding multiple tags for each one of the highlights. So you can see an example here. We've got one, one thing that is about comprehension and costs. And, and the mental model of, of the um, participant um, in this instance. Now, obviously the tags you can completely make up yourself, so there's full flexibility there. Um, but the, the reason why I advocate for this um, multi-tagging or using, using multiple tags is really that you can start seeing kind of like a bit of a, um, a structure or relationship between the different tags here. So for example, we've got another pain point or a pain point here that is related to comprehension and EVP, which is, a, I believe, a, a plan that Zipcar used to have back in the day and then the participant is confused. Now, that may, may not look that useful at this point in time, but when you go through your full set of data, um, you'll start seeing that, okay, um, uh, th th there's, there's meaning that emerges from this, uh, not the individual tags alone, uh, there's meaning in that, of course, as well, but then it's also the relationships between the different tags. So I'll show you how this can be useful um, later down the track. Now, one of the things that I, like I've used Dovetail quite extensively in recent times, it is super powerful and, and um, really my go-to tool for any qual um, analysis and evaluation. Um, one of the things that I felt could be better is, is the tagging um, kind of uh, exploration part, which is this, this view here. So really what it gives me now is a tag frequency. So I can see that, okay, you know, most tags in this project, they're really about pain points. And then kind of like a, a in um, descending order, I've got my kind of, less frequently used tags and, and my long tail of other tags kind of building down towards the bottom. Um, this is great as a starting point, but it, it doesn't give me what I was just talking about before, which is, okay, you know, if I've tagged something together with a pain point, what else did I tag? Like, what are the other things that kind of relate to pain points, if you like? And that's that's something that we can do um, in, in DubTools. Okay, so we'll just jump into DubTools, which is this uh, notebook here. Um, so the way to use this in your own work is that, um, first of all, you're gonna have to be logged into a Google account. It doesn't let you run the cells without doing that. Um, so I'm logged in, in here um, as a, a different Google user, and I can start running these cells. So that's the little play, uh, play button there. So it, can, it gives you a bit of a warning, um, and I would recommend you read the code before you run it, but um, it, some of that um, may be a little bit technical. So I'll just take you through what it actually looks like when you do so. So this first one, again, is just loading some libraries, um, telling me that I'm running on Colab. Uh, a bit more stuff here, run file management, uploading, downloading, that type of stuff. So we'll skip over that. And then we'll get into um, one of the, the key parts of the notebook itself. So, so this is loading highlights, a CSV file of highlights from Dovetail into DubTools itself. So 
Uh, I'll show you quickly how to kind of generate that from here. So this is my project. I go into my project settings and then I want to export. So um, there's multiple different export functions. All of them, you know, spit out CSVs. All we need is this highlights one here. So I would click on the download link here, which I've done already previously. And then I would go into DevTools. Uh, I would run this cell, which is my upload facility. And then it tells me, okay, there's zero things uploaded. So I need to up click that again. And then I'll go into my examples file here. That's the, the CSV from Dovetail. And I'll just upload it. And you can see that it's it says number one here, very, um, you know, the, the, the usability could be improved to say the least here, but um, it, it tells you that it has um, uh, received a file. And now I need to do something with it. So I'll run the next cell, which is uh, a bit of processing. And this is my internal view in DubTools of the data that's been now imported into from, um, from Dovetail. So again, not super useful in that form, uh, but I'll show you the, the, the thing that makes it a lot more useful, um, uh, which is this next part here. So what I can do using this is I can kind of spit out, I can run this cell and it, it's now going to tell me that, okay, uh, it's generated an Excel file and it's down, downloading. So it's downloaded it automatically. I'm just going to save that. And I've actually got it pre-opened in Excel. So I'll jump into Excel and this is what it looks like. So, so we're still in kind of like this cryptic um, looking uh, fairly technical land if you like, um, but I'll show you how to make this a bit more useful. So first of all, what I do here, I often um, just add a filter. I'll probably expand on, on these first columns a little bit. The URL is probably less useful at this point in time, but this really here um, is, is one of the key parts. And again, you know, this could easily be done directly in Dovetail, but the tool doesn't do this yet. Essentially what it does, it just combines what is in the CSV, like individual lines for each one of the tags with all the text duplicated into a single line. So, so that's my, my highlight, one of them, with all the tags that I've applied for that highlight. And the other part here that is um, uh, uh, useful, well, to me at least, is I've, I've abbreviated that, that text or that highlight automatically here. So that's, um, that's what the code does in, in DevTools. The reason for that is that uh, now that it's abbreviated, it could be you know, however long, um, I can use this as my notes in Miro quite easily. So let me show you how to do that. So this might be a really long file. I, I might not have, want to have all of this stuff in my you know, board for affinity diagramming. So let, let me pick up a few tags. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just kind of um, filter by tags. I'll, I'll select contains and pain point. And now I've got a, um, a, a shortened view of my highlights tagged with pain point and typically something else as well. So I'm just going to pick that up and put it into another sheet here. And I'll, I'll call that pain point. And then I'll go back here and let's pick something else. I'll pick, uh, let's pick, uh, let's say costs, because I know that there's a few quotes about that. And again, I'll do the same. So I'll pop this into this um, worksheet here and call it costs. Again, doesn't look that useful yet. Um, I'll show you how to make it a little bit more legible at least. So, so that's still a bit unwieldy. We'll add wrap text. That, that'll start kind of looking like, okay, that's a bit more meaningful now. Uh, but I'm still kind of stuck in this grid world of spreadsheets and cells and, and rows and columns. What I actually want to do, and this was the whole kind of point of uh, building dub tools in the first place, is I want to play around with this data um, on a canvas. So I'll, let me pull that out and um, I'll now flick back into the browser and we'll go into Miro and I'll just drop that in. And that's, that's, that's my stuff now from origina originally from uh, my highlights here. So we, we looked at the, um, so these are the tags, uh, these are my highlights, but I've, I've basically done a bit of sell, like an, an import export using dub tools. And then I've, I've um, done a bit of wrangling in Excel and I've now kind of pulled out a set of quotes, um, if you like, that are kind of pre-organized under these headings that I've added in. So, so this is now a, a fairly good starting point for um, doing a bit of, you know, organizing here. What I tend to do myself is, um, so let's look at our tags again. Uh, sorry, this is probably a better view. So I've got pain point and then cost. So I kind of mimic often the colors that I, I had in dovetail. So pain point often is the, the pinky color here. And then costs, uh, let's make that purple. So now um, let's say that I, I did some analysis and I pull out you know, a couple of pain points and uh, one cost related quote and this then became a new, um, you know, some kind of a theme or finding or beginnings of an insight, if you like, I can kind of, based on my color coding, um, 
tell that, that that's the pile that it came from. Again, if you've got you know a thousand highlights, this may not be as meaningful for but for small to medium projects can be quite useful. So so this is how I tend to use um, uh, kind of dub tools as a bridge from dovetail uh, via Excel then into Myra and into the theming and, and, and um, clustering and sorting and grouping and that type of thing. So that's probably the most interesting part. I'll show you a couple of other things in DevTools as well. So um, uh, the other part, we kind of started talking about this uh, a bit earlier, but it allows you to do a bit of counting as well. So um, I can go here and, and run this cell under count all tags. Let me do that now. And what it's gonna give me um, give me is, is this kind of uh, pie chart, which is basically identical to if I went into DevTail and, and looked at the pie chart here. So that doesn't actually add anything. It's just you can kind of double check that your data has carried across correctly. Uh, that's the main 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 point there. Um, what is useful though is I can now go into this next part, which um, uh, it's probably easier to show rather than tell. So I'll just run that cell and um, show you the output. So it's now again gone through my my highlights and my tags and and the taggings against each one of the highlights. And it's pulled out, okay, six most common tags, pain point, comprehension, confused, and so on and so forth. I'll just double check that that looks similar to what I had in here. So I'll go back into, okay, pain point, protocol, comprehension. Yep, so that, that, that's my top six there. And in DevTools, I've basically got the same top six. But the next level down is what I'm actually after. So what I wanna see in my data is, um, what did I tag at the time? Uh, against let's say a pain point so so what, what what it's kind of done in this kind of breakdown is essentially what are the most common tags tagged together against the um, highlights uh, with the tag pain point so then my output is okay th there's three pain points about confused three other pain points about costs they could be overlapping as well we don't based on this we don't know because this is the the, the multi-tagging facility, they, they can kind of cluster in various different ways. But I, I, I get a really good sense, and again, like this this demo data is, is quite limited, but um, I get a really good sense of um, uh, the next level down and the frequency of my, my sub-tags, if you like, and I can start forming a view of what are the most common pain points, what are the things that participants brought up really, really regularly that I need to start kind of investigating maybe a little bit further. And um, again, I can work down my kind of list here. So I, I just pulled six um, uh, just to kind of have that uh, somewhat manageable. And I can look at some other things. So, so for example, I might have um, costs. So I've got in my top six, I've got costs. And, and then you can see that, that that kind of matches, you know, that yes, pain point is often tagged together with costs, but um, there might be something else in there as well um, in, a, in a broader data set that you might want to look into. So, so again, uh, you know, in the scheme of things, I would love to see this in Dovetail directly because that, that would be dynamic, interactive, all that kind of stuff. This is a kind of like a clunky approximation of what I would like to see in, in the tool itself. But it's, it's, for me, it's so much faster doing it this way rather than, you know, moving stuff around in Excel or trying to figure it out um, uh, based on the, the kind of single level view here in, in Dovetail itself. So, so that, that's the reason why I kind of built this, this feature in, um, in Dovetools. The last part um, is probably not so relevant to most people, but I, again, I'll just run through what this does. So um, essentially what it is, uh, it's a feature to convert an existing order, um, uh, .ai transcript into what is a VTT format, and that then allows you to um, import it in, into Dovetail. So I'll just run that cell again, that's just some code. Uh, for the processing itself, and then we're going to upload an existing transcript. So this is something that um, I pre-created. So I um, essentially uploaded the audio from this recording into Otter, uh, exported that as text, and, and then now I'm uploading that text file into um, into Dub Tools. So it's now uploaded, and let's just process that. So again, I'll, I'll just run this cell. This is the the internal kind of view. This is what the table looks like um, in memory for for this transcript not useful for us just yet, but we'll do this next part and it'll become useful. So, so what it's doing now, it's, it's essentially converting that into the VTT file. So I can save that um, and then I can go into Dovetail. And if, I, if I've got my um, you know, example project here, I've already done this, this um, step as well, but um, if I did in fact delete this transcript, I, it would give me an upload facility. So you can either do an, um, a transcription within Dovetail itself, if you've got a, the suitable subscription, or you can upload an external transcript and it'll take the BTT, BTT file here. 
Um, and you can see that like, you know, it's very, very similar looking to um, uh, what we would get generated by Dovetail uh, internally, but this is now imported from, from um, Otter. The main difference here is that um, it, the granularity is not quite there. So when I select things, it kind of selects the whole block as, it, as opposed to an individual word. So it doesn't let you jump around the, the transcript quite as uh, in the same level of granularity. But um, I've, I've done a lot of tagging um, and highlighting this way, and it's certainly more than enough. And again, you can still select, you know, sub uh, or, or, or parts of this whole block and, and do add your tags and that kind of thing. So so it's really just kind of uh, scrubbing the, the media, but it's not quite as granular as, as the, um, the built-in transcription within Dovetail itself. Again, as I said, uh, probably not that useful to most people, but if you, if you use Otter as your um, kind of standard for audio transcription, you might want to use um, a tool like this to get your data from, or transcription from, from Otter into, um, into Dovetail. So that's DevTools in a nutshell. So I'll just flick back here. So um, just to recap, it, got, it really does three things for now. So it allows you to do that visual, uh, visual theming. So get data across from Dovetail into Excel and then onwards into Miro. And, and you can start doing stuff like this pretty quickly. Uh, the other thing that it does, uh, it, it allows you to do the, um, the tag frequency analysis in a little bit more powerful way than Dovetail does it um, internally for now. And then it allows you to use the other, other transcripts um, within, uh, within Dovetail. So that's DoveTools uh, as it is, uh, exists today. So it's open source. Go have a look on, on GitHub. This is um, what the repo looks like. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you find it useful. And I, uh, I'd be more than um, keen to have some further contributions or ideas that we could build into this later down the track as well. So um, thank you for watching.